Hey everyone, it's not every day that you wake up to find a software update boosting your car's peak power by about 5%, but if you're a Model 3 owner, that's what's been happening for about the last week or so. In preparation for this update, I ran some tests a few weeks ago using Draggy, which is this little GPS GLONASS receiver right here, and I ended up taking the number two spot on the Draggy leaderboard for quickest 0-60 to 60 time in a performance Model 3. The time that I ended up with after that bout of testing was 3.39 seconds, and that's without one foot rollout. If you want to count one foot rollout, then it was 3.21. So yeah, this car is no slouch, but thanks to that update, I've lost my number two spot on the Draggy leaderboards, which Eh, that's fine, whatever, but I want to know what the difference is between pre-update and what the car can do now. So let's go find out. Okay, so I'm here on my usual nice private road in the middle of nowhere, but the conditions today are not as ideal as my conditions a few weeks ago. It's only about 67 degrees Fahrenheit today, was about 73 then. There hasn't been as much bright sun, so the road surface isn't going to be quite as warm, and I am dealing with some crosswind today, but let's give it a try anyway. Here we go. Oh, oh, this never gets old. All right, now that I'm all pulled over, let's look at the data here. First run, 3.33 seconds to 60, and then factoring in one foot rollout, 3.14. Not bad. Let's see if we can do better than that. All right, here we go. Oof. Whee! I'm going to get my brakes pretty hot doing this. 3.35 seconds to 60, with one foot rollout, that's 3.13, but unfortunately I must have been in a weird spot on the road because it shows as invalid, because the slope was more than 1%. And here we go again. Let's see if that was better. The car is starting to feel a little bit less punchy off the line, so I may be starting to drain the battery pack a bit. What am I at? I'm still just a hair above 90%. Let's see how that one went. All right, 3.28 to 60. Factoring in rollout brings us to 3.11 seconds. This might be a new draggy record. Let's get back to the house so we can go over these numbers in detail and compare to the previous results. All right, so here we have the Draggy performance reports for both my quickest 0-60 to 60 run with the previous Tesla software version, which is version 2019.5.15, that's on the left, and then the current software version, which is 2019.8.3, which does include the 5% peak power boost on the right. The new software shaved about a tenth of a second off of my best 0-60 to 60 time so far, though I'm not really sure how much information we can actually glean from the graphs that Draggy presents. Just to add some additional context here, the range of times that I experienced with the previous software version went from 3.39 seconds on the quick end to 3.48 seconds on the slowest run. With the latest software, I experienced 0 to 60 times ranging from 3.28 seconds to 3.39 seconds, with the 3.28 second run shown here being the best of the six runs that I did. Scrolling to the Draggy Performance Report breakdown, you can see that the new software made the car quicker at every stage of the 0-60 run. Looking at the numbers, it seems like the performance gains were spread fairly evenly across the 0-60 run, which is a little weird considering that most people were thinking that the bulk of the performance improvement would be right at launch. Based on some other testing that I've done, there isn't a meaningful difference in performance between these two software versions once you get above about 60 miles an hour or so. So 60 to 80, for example, is pretty much the same. So there you have it, install a free software update and shave like a tenth of a second off of your Performance Model 3's 0 to 60 time. It's crazy. And remember, my Performance Model 3 is the Performance Model 3 without the Performance Upgrades package, so I don't have the bigger brakes. I'm on the stock 18-inch aero wheels with the aero covers installed and the Michelin Primacy MXM4 tires. This configuration was only available for a very short time period right around when the Performance Model 3 was launched in 2018. It can't be ordered anymore. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Question for you guys. If you have a GPS-based performance logging device like a Draggy or one of the RaceLogic products, let me know in the comments below what your before and after time was. I'm particularly interested in the non-performance dual motor cars because I, I have not had a chance to actually test one of those yet. So let me know what kind of performance difference there is for you guys. And uh, yeah, as always, don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you later.